In this video, I'm going to show how to install Propensity Score Matching dialog box into SPSS. Once you successfully install this dialog box, it will appear uh, with other analytical dialog boxes to SPSS. There are six steps involved to install Propensity Score Matching dialog into SPSS. In step one, Different versions of SPSS require a different version of our interface. And for SPSS version 22, which I have on my PC, and you need to install R version 2.15.0. Okay? And it seems better to use .0 rather than other version under 2.15. So let me show you how to install R 2.15.0 into your computer. So first you need to go to a uh, website for R which is www.rproject.org. Okay. So in this website and you go to CRAM under download packages. Okay. And there are many sites you can download R, and I typically go to USA and um, grab arbitrarily from any site. So let's pick one from the top. I have Windows, so I click download for Windows and click on base. And the newest version of R is 3.1.1, which does not run with SPSS. So we have to go to previous release and uh, click R2, R version 2.15.0. Okay, and download will begin shortly. And since I already downloaded this to my PC, and let me skip this uh, step, okay, all you do is just click on R executing file and download as you download other software okay so let me stop this and uh, okay and next and you need to go to SPSS IBM website to download our interface so um, so grab this and paste into URL it will ask you to register into IBM SPSS site first. So uh, you may do so. Right, since I have an account already, so once you log in, it will show this site. Okay, tools for SPSS product. And then I downloaded this one, IBM SPSS Essentials for R. Uh, FP1 for Windows 64 bit. If you have 32 bit, and do this one instead of this one. Uh, but make sure if your SPSS is 64 bit, it requires 64 bit for our interface as well. It will download as you download as a software. I've done this already, so let me cancel. And then the third. All right. Uh, once you install this um, and uh, SPSS should be able to recognize this R interface in order to make sure make sure that and let's copy this line and then paste into SPSS okay, so you first go to open a syntax box okay and let's make sure if this command runs okay so go to our output and since i don't have error message this means our plugin is working properly okay if you see error message and that means spss is not recognizing our interface so you might go back to step to to re-download our interface for SPSS okay and then next step step 4 we need to download PS matching software for SPSS 
and to do that and you go to this website and again it is important to uh, exactly copy paste from this slide and because there are so many similar sites and it took me hours to find these uh, correct sites so um, just cut and paste in so you just wait five seconds and then um, SPD file will be downloaded automatically and here it is and once you downloaded this file uh, make sure it's SPD file. There are similar files from the same site ending SPE. It did not work with my SPSS. Okay. So you save this file. Um, okay, you save this file uh, wherever on your PC and I download it into desktop. Okay, and uh, so go back to SPSS. And then what you do next is go to utility and custom dialog and install custom dialog. Okay. And then here, um, go to where you saved SPD file and then uh, click open. Okay. So by doing that, after you do this, you go to analyze and you will find PS matching. Okay. So you see the nice dialog box to compute propensity score matching with your SPSS. And I will prepare separate video on how to use this PS matching dialog box